hyperpigmentation is accumulation of excessive melanin on a specific part of the skin. And what causes it? So what causes hyperpigmentation? So there are several factors and the sunshine, there is uh, acne, there is air pollution, all these are factors that could lead to, to hyperpigmentation. So in my case, I suffer from hyperpigmentation. It's on and off and I've struggled with it, just like acne. My hyperpigmentation is actually caused by the acne that I've suffered from over the years. And also being a field person, I get a lot of sunburn. Yeah, I'm trying to master the reapply sunscreen every after two hours. It gets hard. But that's where my hyperpigmentation comes from. So let us understand how is this melanin formed because we have to understand how it's formed in order to find a remedy for it. So in our skin, we have what we call melanocytes. So melanocytes produce an enzyme. So an enzyme is a catalyst. It propels the reaction. It's like having oxygen when you're putting, when you're trying to light a fire. So that it's like an oxygen, that, that, that's like oxygen causing the body to produce melanin. So the melanocytes produce that enzyme and produce this melanin that is now deposited on our skin. So when you expose yourself to these factors, they, you trigger the melanocytes and then they will produce a lot of this enzyme to produce the melanin on the surface of the skin. Look back, look back when you were younger. Your mom, your, your aunties, they were fairer. They had even tone, but as they've aged, their skin has become dull and darkened over the years. And I know what most people will tell you, oh, I'm aging, oh, I'm aging. No, you're not just aging. The effects of not having taken care of your skin for so many years are simply showing. You did not wear sunscreen because after all, I'm black, I don't need sunscreen. Well, it shows later on in life. So let's get into the remedies of how to treat hyperpigmentation and how to even prevent it from occurring. So we now understand how melanin is actually produced in our body and how it leads to hyperpigmentation. Stages one, two, and three. One, exposure. Two, production of the enzyme that actually produces melanin and then it's deposit on our skin. So to treat hyperpigmentation, you have to hold one of these three processes in their tracks. So process number one, how do we hold it? Sunscreen. Wear your sunscreen. Make sure the rays do not trigger the melanocytes to produce melanin. And you will not have problems with hyperpigmentation. There is lots of sunscreen and I know that fear. Oh my God, I'm going to look like a ghost. Oh my God, it's going to leave a white cast. But there's so much sunscreen on the market and a lot available in store that you can actually come over and test and find a sunscreen that works for you. There's so much sunscreen and yeah, a patch test is available in store. So find the right sunscreen and forget about suffering from hyperpigmentation. After all, you would have, you would have halted the process right in its tracks. So at stage two, you've not been wearing your sunscreen, you're already seeing signs that your skin is becoming dull, you have an even skin tone, or you've been an acne sufferer and these acne marks are already evident on your face. At stage two, the treatment would be, we hold the production of melanin. We inhibit that enzyme, that yeast that I talked about, from propelling the reaction to produce more melanin. And the active that has become a gold standard in skincare is the alpha apitin. So alpha apitin is found in one of these. This is the ordinary. It, it is alpha apitin and vitamin C. It's very potent and very good for acne scarring. I'll get into alpha apitin a little more. I've had clients come into store and say, I use my alpha apitin and I don't use sunscreen. Well, unfortunately, alpha apitin is a cousin to hydroquinone. And under exposure to the sunlight, it can be degraded. The molecule of hydroquinone can be degraded and activated and cause damage to your skin. So anyone out there using alpha apitin, please wear your sunscreen. It is compulsory. So stage three, the melanin has already been deposited on your skin. Your skin is uneven, the acne 
acne marks are there we go all out at this stage we really go all out that means we'll introduce remedies right from step one which is step one stage two and stage three we shall stop that deposit of that melanin on your skin how do we do that the star ingredient for this is niacinamide so the brand that is for acne prone skin there are other brands in store for different skin types do step in and find the niacinamide that is made for your skin type but this particular one is made for acne prone skin so the niacinamide will stop any deposit of melanin on your skin.